today's video we will be continuing Trivitopia. So, as you saw from the majestic shot over there, last video we built our TFM store, these two apartments, this little port, which is because here we have a canal, we try forgot to build the security systems to it. Yes, these little apartments, they're gorgeous. Oh, I telephoned this whole area, built this public way so you can drink water from the buckets and bottles that you bought from TFM. In Minecraft you don't get thirsty, but let's get real here. And this bridge. <coughs> but of course I left out this orange part here. Yeah. Because it can have its own video, which is this video. So, before we build the orange part, yes, I know it's getting kind of very um, frustrating, that's the word I was looking for. Been lately procrastinating this film, the whole of last video, and I'm still, yes. So, we're going to build here. This, this canal, oh, it's built already, it's dug out. The canal is dug out, it's not built. I think you do understand me here. The Suez canal is dug out, but you still didn't build the ports and fees and stuff. You understand? You do. So, <coughs> we're going to build uh, some arms maybe, like those ones you see on parking spots or something like that. And for some reason it's night time. So, in good old fashioned ways, you go back to your apartment and you sleep. Or you don't. Because the game, for some reason, at sunset before you can actually sleep. And I want to sleep, of course, because I don't want mobs on this bit. Because Endermen are my worst enemy. That's why I didn't mob creeping off in the last video. So here we are going to build two arm like structures that are going to here and here. Going to we need insert a certain amount of emeralds, yes, our currency. If you don't understand, see last vi last video that I talked about our currency, so you have to pay in TFM. It's over there in that corner. So we pay a certain amount of emeralds, which are equivalent to T coins, which is our country's currency. Shows our Cleavotopia's currency. Yeah, it's complicated. So you can pay to enter, but you exit for free. So we'll do that. Here we go.
and I'm back. So we've built the water dam canal gate, as you see here, water dam canal gate. But actually, how did they work? So I'm entering, I'm trying to get out of water dam. You pay four emeralds, which are T coins, to open the water dam canal gates. Then you move the crank to open the gates. And off you go. A very good buy sign. And when you arrive to the other gate, there's a button to press to open. You don't need to open to pay two times for something that you're going to only use once. So that's that. And if I'm trying to enter water dam, go here to the gates, I pay four emeralds, but I don't move any crank. A very welcome sign. I press the button and off I am into water dam. So That's that. Yes. But actually, where does the money go? The most important question. So, for this gate here, it goes into this trap door. And for the other gate, you enter this door. For federal employees only, go up the ladder, onto the roof of the gate, down the ladder. Mind the goodbye sign, and here's that. Of course, you're not supposed to rob the canal gates, of course, you're not supposed to rob them. Yes, and that is going to be collected by you know the tax collectors, whatever they call it. <coughs> so, <coughs> sorry for that. These are the gates. If I explain to you how they work, I would need two whole hours just for that. So, you know they work, and they're powered by this windmill. But this gate is to open it, you need a crank because I could not connect that part to the windmill, but I could connect this. So then that's off our shoulders. Now onto the orange part. Very mysterious. Not for long. What is it for real? This orange part is a clock tower. A big Ben themed clock tower. So <coughs> How does that work? A rotational bearing, what? No, not a windmill bearing, not a mechanical bearing, a clockwork bearing. Clockwork bearings take in mechanical power through a shaft from the behind. Just like that. Okay, so for example, if I put here any type of block, really, it doesn't matter. Block of coal and block of iron. The first set of blocks over here, these, here for example, are the hour hands. And the second set of blocks are the minute hand. So that is nine o'clock. So time a day, weather clear. Off I go. Hey, 
editing trivial here in the next clip you're going to see about the clock tower being finished and how it works the game audio the audio of the mobs nate blocks the train that Olus passes and nearly runs me over every time the uh, <coughs> rain the audio game audio it did not record so in a clip where I will ask you to hear something you will not hear it I'm dearly sorry for that enjoy the rest of the video goodbye So, I'm back, and as you see, this is now become, and it is 8 o'clock. I've been waiting to do that for a very long time. So, the clock tower is now here. It is kind of a big bin with the azurine roof, yes, this is called azurine. A polished cut azurine stairs. They're not from the Minecraft inventory, they are from the building blocks in the create mod here. Go down to the copper tiles, to the wood, the granite, alright, andesite, calcite, dripstone, deep slate, tough azurine. This is Azurine. <coughs> so yes, the Azurine roof is partially from Big Ben. Is from Big Ben, with the kind of thin, thin body, but the large head and quart smooth quartz top are taken from the Mecha Clock Tower. So it's a mix of the both. And I don't think there are any more clock towers. I don't think so. So, let us go inside this clock tower. Ground floor. Here you've got these four note, note blocks, which when it becomes noon, will ring. You know, like a grandfather clock. Here are the speedometers and uh, stressometers. This network, which is powered by the windmill, is on 100% stress. No, no longer will it take any more stress. And this goes on a speed of 64 rotations per minute. Don't worry, it's under the speed limit. I think. Here's our redstone lamps, you know, so no mobs spawn. Here, <coughs> you see, is the clock itself, the clock head, go up these ladders, beware, one in danger, so when it becomes noon, 12, it's about to in, it's about to in just, just some seconds, we'll play our symphony. Whatever they call it. Down on ground floor, as you saw, there are four note blocks with four redstone signal receivers. They are on receiving mode. This is not that complicated, just take you five minutes, and yes, finally, I've be begun fiddling with redstone. It's not that hard, you just need some time. 
So here, this shaft comes up from the ground as you saw it. It comes here. I think you heard that. Ding, 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 ding. That is the. Now, what they call it, the alarm, the bell. Yes, the bell. It tells you it's noon. So if you live in Waterdown, you've heard that. Waterdown, not the station. Not the water station itself. So, what actually happens over here? This is a redstone contact. When it comes in contact, when the face that comes in contact comes in contact with another redstone contact, excuse me one second, Sorry, my cat was fiddling with the wires. So, this redstone contact comes with con in to contact with another redstone contact, and then it emits a redstone signal. Then you here you've got a pulse extender, a create pulse extender, the delay of 18 ticks, then it starts the first note, Tim. then a, a pulse extender. So, the pulse after it will not end for 8 seconds. That happens because these pulse ex extenders only emit a short pulse. It's bang, and then the pulse is off. So if you want to delay even more, you'd need a pulse extender. So 8 seconds and then in 18 second, 18 tick, pulse, pulse, uh, what's it called again? Pulse repeater. Yes, repeaters. Like the normal repeaters, but these are created and create. So here you've got pulse repeaters, 18 ticks. Then this is a extender for 6 seconds, so it's after it will not end for 6 seconds. Pulse extenders emit after a short pulse, but pulse repeaters don't emit until the timer is already finished. So here, takes in signal. Two, five, five takes or something, then it emits it. But here, it takes in the signal, it waits this whole 18 ticks, whatever I choose it to be, and then <coughs> it emits set signal. So here, <coughs> these 18 ticks, this takes a bit two ticks, so 18 ticks so it becomes a second, so one second interval between the 10 and 10, it makes it symphony, not just. We wouldn't hear anything. It would be some cacophony. Then the second frequency, which here is red clock, this here is red stone clock. Then a pulse repeater of 18 ticks. Extender of 4 seconds, so those two will not stop. Wait, this red stone will be lit for 4 seconds. Then the third one, green clock. 18 ticks, then blue clock. So that is the insides of the clock. Now we go down. So why did I actually name them redstone, then red, blue, green? So here you see the first one. Redstone clock, red clock, blue, green clock, blue clock. So why them specific names? Well, they are referencing to the light, the speed of light, because literally that leads to a Here, no matter of time, it's here. If you're in a range of 128 blocks, it will transmit, and it transmits it immediately. So, RGB, a reference to the speed of light, and redstone is before that, because you need the redstone signal, so it emits the signal which moves at the speed of light, I hope. So, as you see here, this redstone contact, the other redstone contact is inside the quartz, it is... What's it called? <coughs> it is, uh, you know, clipped in, yes, it's clipped in. So here, this face needs another redstone contact, which is down there. It is right now four. No, it's five. It's about to set. The sun is about to set. 
it comes in contact with this redstone contact and it emits the redstone too. So now it is 6 o'clock p.m. So that is that. And <coughs> we built the water dam canal gates, the clock tower, the water dam clock tower. We Gwen, no, not <laughs> we Gwen. Big Ben Win. Big Ben of Brand. Yeah. And here, if you uh, go down and you do the times a day, all of these commands are just because I was testing the time, it just lags and then clips out of existence. Out of existence. So we were the clear just for the sake of it. That is it. There's nothing, and it's quite a short video. So, have a good day, and goodbye!